hi everyone <laughs> welcome back to my channel i am happy that you guys are still uh watching my videos and showing me love i am so happy to make this youtube channel so here we go this video is all about the um healthy way of you if you have 4c hair how to protect it when you are blow drying so i know a lot of us make uh, make a lot of mistakes when we blow drying our hair because our 4c hair is has very tight uh coil and it's so difficult to manage sometimes if we don't have the right products to do it and if we don't know how to blow dry it as well <music> So basically in this video what I'm doing I'm blow drying my hair but before I blow dry my hair I make sure that my hair is detangled first so the first thing I do I just use a white tooth comb and detangle my hair and then afterwards I make sure I apply the um, heat protector the spray so I apply through my hair and uh, afterwards what I do I get the blow dry but what I do, I set it in a lower um, temperature first to blow dry my hair slowly to make sure that it's, uh, it's detangling once again and the blow dry is doing its work. And then afterwards what I do, I put it to a higher setting but not too hot just to make sure because the only thing I want to do actually is just to detangle my hair so it's going to be easier to manage in case I want to make any type of uh, hairstyle like braids or anything like that. <laughs> And one thing also that we need to be careful every time we blow drying our hair we need to be careful to not do it overdo it so we need to pay attention on how to um, use the blow dry itself like we start from the ends of our hair and then we go to the roots because if we started from the roots it's that means that we're gonna really break our hair and that's not, it, not nice at all because the only thing we want is our hair to be a bit more soft and better to manage and uh, there's no point of us starting from the roots because otherwise we're gonna break our hair and that's not good at all so um always start from the bottom and then go to your root i mean sorry always start from the end and then go to your root because that would be the safe safest way to do it and the more healthier way to do it as well because we don't want our hair to break so these are the ways that we should do all the time <music> And as you can see here is not you see my hair is blow dried but it's not like um very very like um straight because i didn't want that that the only thing i wanted was just to help my hair to open the coils a bit so then i can manage uh, better if i have to do any type of hairstyle and I quite like the result to be honest because I see that my hair is full, my hair is healthy and there's everything that I want because <laughs> I want my hair to grow but I want it to grow healthier. I don't want it to have any type of heat damage so that's why I use heat protector and then I use uh, the blow dry in the low setting first and then I can go to medium and not too high because I don't want to break my hair or to provoke any type of heat damage. <music> Mm -hmm. 
and <laughs> look at the volume of my hair my hair is like so big now and yeah now that my hair is getting bigger and bigger it's giving me more work <laughs> but i love it anyway i love it and that's what i want i want my hair to grow i want my hair to be healthy and i don't want to have any type of uh damage um hair or any type of uh plateau because sometimes when we are on our hair growth journey what we realize is that uh, our hair gets to a point and it doesn't grow anymore so i'm doing everything that i can to make sure that my hair would grow healthier and stronger and longer of course so i'm i'm taking some steps that are probably i will make a video about it what kind of things that i use to make my hair uh, grow uh, better and longer so as you can see here in the video i really really need a trim because my hair it, the some part of my hair the ends you can see they need to be cut because yeah i like i said in previous video i live in spain and where i live there's no uh black hairdresser and i am afraid to go to someone that actually doesn't understand my type of hair and then cut it wrong so i would have to get <laughs> courage to actually cut it myself one more time so i think i'm probably gonna do this in one or two months but yeah let's see <laughs> this is what i want to do but as you can see here my hair is so big now it's stronger it has more volume the, just the way that i like and i can see that my hair it's uh is growing so i'm happy with things that i'm doing to get this result and uh I'm, i am also happy that i can show you guys the progress of my hair because i can see that all the products that i'm using and the steps that i'm taking are actually showing the results in this video and i hope you guys out there actually look um at my videos and find things that i do to make my hair grow because if you are in a situation that you see that your hair is not growing, please try to implement some of the things that I did in previous videos. So, because I'm pretty sure they would help you somehow to manage your hair and help you to grow your hair longer and stronger. <music> yeah like i said i'm very very happy with this uh state of my hair now i see that i'm taking good care of it so basically i do protective hairstyle i make sure that i um use um uh, products they are especially or specifically for 4c hair i make sure that i put water in my hair when i have braids or corn rolls because our hair needs water of course especially 4c hair um and i also make sure that i don't over uh do with heat because uh heat is not good for majority of type of hair but i use hot um oil treatment which is good because our hair sometimes likes uh this type of um methods because it helps with the um with the growth and it helps to open the cuticles of our hair as well so i use some type of methods like that and yeah the only thing i'm doing here is just i'm just parting my hair in two parts and then i'm just gonna um make two corn roll and leave my hair like this for two days and then afterwards i will try and make a nice hairstyle protective hairstyle and leave my hair like this for actually i think a month <laughs> or a month and a half for sure but yeah you guys will see probably in the next video that i'm gonna do the hairstyle I'll show you guys what I did and I really uh, looking forward to show you guys. But yeah, this video is all just to show you guys what I'm doing to make my hair um, uh, protected before I blow dry it because I don't want my hair to break. I don't want my hair to have any type of heat damage because my goal is to grow my hair healthy, longer and stronger. And I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys keep showing me love sending me messages commenting on my videos and 
telling me what is your hair journey because I'm really curious about what um, what you guys are doing after watching my videos. If you guys really implementing any type of the um, methods I'm showing in my videos, if you guys like it, how do you find it? If you can leave a comment and tell me what do you like and what you what you don't like, so then I can improve myself because I'm also learning. Not everything that I do is meant to be good for everybody but I'm doing it because it actually helps my hair to grow so please please thank you at the same time but comment and let me know what you guys think and what you find that is working for you what you find that is not working for you so then I know exactly how to explain in next videos just to show you guys uh, my appreciation as well thank you so much and I see you guys in the next video bye, -bye. Mm -hmm.